Hello, this is Nathan, and welcome back to our casual guide to Dwarf Fortress. In our last episode, we did start creating a hospital here, but what we did accomplish was making a well, and if we go down below the well, we can see uh, kind of what's happening here. Um, I did create a mist generator. Let's go back up to the surface here. I created a mist generator, so we're extracting water from the little river here, and it's going straight down our tunnel um, of our fortress, or, you know, staircase, whatever you want to call it. And uh, that way we're kind of killing two birds with one stone. Um, got water for our doors, and a happy uh, thought generator, so to speak. I did not finish the hospital. The only thing I did was, was create the zone. So if we look at the zone, we have the zone here, and we uh, assigned some positions for our doors here. And uh, we started, at least the doors themselves, they've started filling the hospital up. So as we can see here, they're demanding all this stuff here. Um, they're, they're getting the basic stuff like thread and buckets, since I have that in the fortress. But we're also needing soap and powder for casts, which I was wanting to show off how to make in this video. Um, also splints and crutches, pretty easy to make, but I can show how to do that as well. So if you're, if you're tuning in, hoping to see some, uh, hospital action from start to finish, definitely suggest looking at my previous video just so I can set, so you could see how I set this up and then I'll be finalizing it in this video. So let's start with that. So the first thing I want to do is go over soap making. Um, what we're going to need to do, so let's go to our workshop area. So I think it's in here. Yeah, so we have our soap maker. So what we're going to need is a, a wood furnace, an ashery, and a so soap maker. So in the wood furnace, we have to make ash. And then once we make the ash, we're going to go take it to this ashery. We're going to make a lye from that. And then once we're done with the lye, we're going to combine the lye into a uh, uh, tallow to make soap. You can also do oil, but I find that we have more access to tallow than oil. Um, so if you're curious how to do the oil part, I highly suggest checking out the wiki. Uh, but for this video, we'll be focusing on tallow. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to make a little stockpile. So the first thing, let's see. Sand. I'm just checking out what I have right now. Okay. So let's make a couple of stockpiles. So let's see, I've got, got a st I've got a couple here that I can use. So let's do a specific uh, stockpile for ash. Or maybe lye, let's make lye. Well, I guess we'll need both. Um, hmm. Let's just do ash first. Uh, ash stock. And I want to say it's in bars, bars and blocks. So let's check it out. Maybe? Yeah, ash. Um, I think that's it. I think that's all we have to do. Let's make sure this existing one, because I have one for coke. I just don't know. Or coal, whatever one you want to call it. Yeah, it's just coal. Okay. So this is going to be the ash. And then we will do... Um, I'm trying to think here. We don't need like a whole bunch. Let's make this as our lie. Now this one I'm not really sure where they store this at. Let's see though. Yeah, I'm not familiar. Let's see. I bet we can figure it out though. Ah, here we go. Okay, so it's under food miscellaneous liquid. Interesting. All right, so that's going to be where our lye is stored, and I'm pretty sure it's buckets or barrels, rather. We're not going to be using it too much. It's not like we're going to have this crazy stock, so I'm not too worried about these being big. Uh, 
Okay, so we have our ash, our lye, and then I want tallow to be stored as well. But this is going to be on the upper workshop area. For those who don't know, if you're just tuning in, I keep everything on top here that's kind of raw and hasn't been processed yet. So you'll see like a lot of bituminous coal here, um, that kind of thing. This level is for quick access to things. And then this is like the finished layer. So this layer here is for clay furniture. So what we're going to do is create a tallow stockpile, which doesn't need to be too big. Um, what am I doing? We'll say tallow. And then this is in food. I think it's fat. So, so as you can see here, when we click on food and fat, if we're just wanting tallow, tallow is also uh, combined with the actual fat. So they, they convert fat into tallow, but they're in the same category. So I don't want the fat to be here because that's not where we're processing it. So if we type in tallow, this will only show the tallow for this uh, window here. So if we click all, it's going to grab all of our tallow and we can verify that. If we delete tallow, you can see only that being checkmarked there. So that's great. So we got that. Now, since I did that, I do know that in my stockpile, I have a food stockpile and I want to make sure tallow isn't in here. Um, and I think it is. So as you can see for now, before I made that stockpile, we were uh, stocking it in the kitchen. So now that we have one, I'm going to uh, subtract it. So hello. Then we're going to click none. There. Now when they're done and they've gotten the tallow, they're going to bring it down to the workshop area and ready for it to be processed. Uh, so let's give it a go. See what happens. I think I might have some tallow. Um, let's check out our labor here. So if we go to the labor tab, so if you go down here to the hammer, go to the kitchen, go to meat and fish, we can see what food we have. Now, tallow is labeled under meat and fish. So as we can see, we have some donkey tallow. Um, just as a tip, anytime you make tallow, uh, when you butcher an animal, you hunt one and they butcher it, they're going to have tallow with the animal. Make sure you take it off from cooking. Uh, it's automatically set to be green, I'm pretty sure. So make sure you turn it to red. It's definitely a kind of a cumbersome process if you have a lot of animals and you're butchering. It's it's more micromanaging than it needs to be. Um, but anyway, that's Door Fortress. So uh, now you guys know about it and can deal with it. So, all right. So let's see what happens. I want to see if they start... Um, Kind of moving the stuff around here. I don't have that many doors, so it might take a bit. I do want to see... So I've got some barrels, some bins. Okay. Okay, so they do have the donkey tallow. Great. Um, so let's, let's start trying to make some soap here. So what we need to do is make, of course, ash. Um, I don't know how much to make. If it's just one-to-one, -one, that'd be great. But let's do, like... Cool. Still making those figurines so that way when we're trading here in a little bit. Speak of the devil. It's already autumn, so we should be getting a trading caravan, which is exciting. We need to get this uh, going here. Because I'm not getting any migrants, and this is already uh, the second year into this fortress here. Almost getting into the third, and I only have 13 people. Not very much. Alright, is anyone making the ash? Did they already make it? And I... Okay, there they go. Okay, so they're making the ash, so just so you guys are knowing, they're, it's considered a barn block. Very odd, but I understand why. So what I should do, I should actually have a little stockpile of wood here, just so that they can do that a little faster, because right now, 
Um, they're going over here to collect the wood. But it's not that far of a way. I mean, I'm not going to be making it too much. All right, so they've made some ash. So let's make some lye now. Um, ashery. We're going to make some lye. And I think that it's just one-to-one, -one, so we'll just make one and see how it goes. And someone's already on the job here. Great. Looks like they're picking up something. Got the ash there. Oh, they need a bucket. So that's what it is. So to, to make this go by faster, you could probably have buckets nearby. But again, you're not going to be making this too often. Okay, so they made the lie. I think. I think this is what this oaken bucket has. Yep, it's got lie in it. I want to see if they store it. They may not. Doesn't look like anyone's moving it. Sometimes, with things that are stored in like bags and such, um, I'm going to see if it's here. Maybe it's not here. Furniture and Siege? Interesting. They got bags separately, but not buckets. They do have buckets here. I don't know... Sometimes things stored in other uh, substances, like bags or buckets, can really change what the stockpile is. I feel like they should be storing it here. Uh, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, that should be fine. Oh, there they go. They just must be really busy. I always like to verify that I'm doing things correctly and not telling you guys something wrong. Okay. So perfect. So they got the barrel. They have the lye in it. So great. So let's make our soap and see if that's enough. So right here, it's already highlighted. So we know that we have this stuff. So let's make the soap. And someone's already on the case. Oh, I guess we do need a stockpile for soap. Uh, it doesn't need to be very big. Let's do... Yeah, a little, a little four by four here. Uh, this one, I don't think it's food. No, is it a bar and a block? It is, so it's bars and blocks. Interesting. It's usually one of those. It's either bars and block, blocks, finished goods, or furniture, usually. Okay, cool. All right, so we should be, they probably won't store it here at first. Uh, they will probably store it at the hospital. But we'll see how much soap uh, is made from a tallow. Oh, so it's just like one tallow, interesting. They're probably taking it to the hospital. So let's take a look here. So we should only have one soap. Yep, one donkey soap. Great. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have never experienced that before. It's uh, cleaning yourself with donkey fat. Uh, but there we go. So that is how you do the soap part. Now, before we get into how to make uh, this powder for casts, um, we're gonna deal with trading first. So let's do that. All right, so they're coming along here. Oops, I don't want to do that. Stop it. Let's request our broker to get things going here. Um, I do actually want to make some prepared meals. So we have a lot of buckets here. Um, or barrels, rather. Let's do some fine meals. Okay. 
Um, so let's start moving some stuff. So what we're gonna do is min or move that bin of finished goods, which it looks like it's this stuff. We've got a gem bin, which I don't really wanna trade. Looks like some valuable stuff in this one. Um, looks like we got more in here. I kind of wish you could see what's inside these before you're trading them, but maybe a future update. Or if they ever let more mods on the workshop. Okay, so that should be enough. I mean, that's quite a bit of trading. Uh, definitely more than last year where I could barely trade enough for an anvil. One thing I do need to set up is these beehives, but that'll be for future. I've got too much stuff going on. Okay, so let's see what's going on with the mountain homes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we can request what we're needing. I always request all the seeds. Can never have too much. Um, leather, I usually will just kind of click these guys. They, You're never not going to find leather when you're trading, but it's good just to tell them. Definitely pigtail cloth and cat. Cave spider. Uh, we don't have access to this, so this is important. Uh, what else could we do? You know, if you guys are lacking in anything in particular, please trade with them. Uh, this is, again, a casual guide, so we're, we do have access to a lot of things. So I'm not really too worried about it. Yeah, there's just not much. I'm not really too worried about anything. I always, let's just do some pig iron and then steel. Doesn't hurt to trade this stuff. Maybe iron. Yeah. Okay, that's that's good for me. Uh, let's see. They want windows. Interesting. So they're going to trade windows at a higher percent for the next agreement. I'm probably not going to make any of those, but good to know. Okay. So we're still waiting for four more items to be transported. So let's wait for that before we trade. Probably taking a while because of how many items there are. Probably pretty heavy. Considering they're all made out of stone, too. But as you guys can see, uh, my last episode, I made that mist generator. All my doors are in the green already. There's no one who's that really unhappy at all. I mean, they're pretty happy. So very strong way of keeping your doors happy. Highly suggested. Okay, we got everything. So let's trade it. So let's see what they have first. And then I'll trade um, accordingly here. So let's see. Got little hammers and stuff. Pickaxes. Let's see something. So if you hold shift, it does actually go down. So if you just mouse wheel, it does that. But if you hold shift, it does it like page by page. Uh, so here's all the seeds. They like to give us a lot. So I'm just going to buy one of each. So we'll have dimple, rock, pigtail, plump, cave wheat, and rock nuts. Looks like that's all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Pretty sure that's all of them. Yeah. Oh, sweet pod. I guess that's the other one. Are there actually that many? Dimple. Are there actually seven? One, one, two. Eh, it must be. Interesting. I always thought there was six. Hmm. Anyway, so let's grab. So we got that. Let's grab some of this, uh, the silk here. Um,. We don't really need too much. We don't need like expensive stuff. Can I just have normal? There we go. Cave spider. Let's see, where's the leather at? Must have not have asked for leather. Yeah, I don't see it. That's okay. Totally okay. 
Can always butcher somebody if we need to. Or start hunting. We just don't have that many dwarves, so I don't really want them doing a whole bunch. But I don't really think we need much else, to be honest. Yeah, I'm probably not too worried about it. Yeah. Raw crystal glass. I might take that. The crystal glass, from my understanding... So there's, like, glass... I'm trying to remember what... I've never really delved into glass. I've seen it a few times. Uh, but it's something I want to get into. It's a great way of increasing the quality of a room. I think crystal is the highest grade. So we'll, we'll take some of that. Okay. So let's trade now. So as we can see, the value is at 1700 A good rule of thumb, if you always want to play it safe and get the most out of it, you want them to get a profit of the same amount that it's valued at. So what we're going to do is I'm going to check to make sure... I always like to make sure that what I'm giving them is exactly what's inside this bin because sometimes they'll store things that... You would think these are all figurines, but then there's like a little artifact or something in there. We haven't had an artifact in our uh, fortress yet, which is kind of sad, but I have a feeling we're going to get one soon. Uh, so let's trade that one. We'll trade this guy too, which I think is also figurines. Yeah. I think these are all figurines. Yes. Okay, so right now I checkmarked three of those bins. Um... If you guys are wanting not to trade the entire bin, if this isn't obvious, you can check mark these instead. And they'll trade only what's in the bin. The reason that's a good idea is because elves, they don't like wood. I'm sure you, if you play Door Fortress, you know that. That's one of the first things that you probably see. Um, if you're new to it, you may not know, but they don't like you dealing with wood. So you would just trade what's inside the bin here. But anyway. So right now, if I trade those three things, I have a profit of about 1600 and it's only valued at 1700 So this is a pretty good trade, and we'll hit trade. They should accept it. Yep, ah, wonderful. Thanks for the business. Now, what you can also do, if they'll accept it, is you can offer things as gifts. So that way, it's just giving you bonus points. Um, I'm probably not going to do anything too crazy if it lets me. There we go. We'll just trade some of these figurines just so you guys can see. Uh, but trader profit, 200, nothing's valued. So if you hit offer as gift, we're just donating it to them and they generally like it. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. Once we're done trading, I like to uh, no trader. And then we like to move the stuff back. Since we are done. There we go. Cool. I'm pretty excited about that. Pretty good trade. We should be getting more migrants. Just checking on this. I think we're going to have to do something with the dog population. Uh, let's do name. Name, I find, is the best way to order animals in this. Let's see. We have one puppy. We don't have too much. I am going to neuter one of the dogs, though. Yeah. So, if you guys are curious, uh, you can go here. There's this guy here, uh, Gelded, I think is the name. I don't know how to pronounce it. This is the first time I've ever seen this word, is when I played Door Fortress. So, but this is neutering. So, if you check mark that, someone will take them to, I think, either the farmer workshop or maybe even the butcher, and they will neuter them. Uh, and sometimes you'll see them getting in a fight here because, you know, I'd be pretty ticked off too if someone was taking me there to yeah and uh they'll like fight back temporarily i've never seen anyone get hurt but this is door fortress and everybody likes the fun involved so let's do that i don't want like a population to go crazy uh the kittens don't seem like they're too bad okay good there all right so let's go back to our hospital so i want to make um I want to make plaster, uh, plaster powder. So that's how they make casts, you know, for broken bones, you know, setting stuff. 
Uh, we need that as well for the hospital. So plaster is a little bit easier to make, I think. But first what we're gonna do is I am gonna make a little stockpile for it. Um, and let's do it, so let's see, where's the plaster people? I think it's mixed at a kiln. Plaster powder, yes. Okay, so what we're gonna do, yeah, we'll make the stockpile here, just a little one. Um, plaster stone, so we have to make, uh, we have to get the raw stuff first and then they'll convert it into the powder. So this is going to be in stone. And then we have to pick the stone uh, that is made into plaster. So I think it's uh, gypsum, alabaster, uh, selenite, and satin spar. I think that's it. I don't know if... Yeah, that must be it. So those guys are our... Um, plaster stones and I, and we can verify this if we go into labor maybe let's see what is it objects ah yes labor stone use and then we can see so you can see uh, alabaster is plaster uh what else do we got gypsum i'm probably missing it satin spar selenite so just so you're, if you don't know, you know, I look at the wiki usually before I uh, talk about these videos, but this is a good way of checking too. All right, so they're gonna move some of that stuff there. We have a lot uh, around our fortress. I think it's down here. Yeah, these little guys. And even tells you, if you click on the stone, it'll say makes plaster powder. So lots of different ways. Okay. Yeah, see the, the dog's fighting the broker because uh, yeah, he got neutered. Okay, so they're already doing that, great. So to make plaster powder, as you can see, we need um, an empty bag. So to make bags, uh, either two ways, we can have a leather worker or a cloth. Um, trying to, I'm losing it. Uh, clothes? Leather. Interesting, I figured they would have like a specific name. Clothes worker? I don't know, cloth ear. Anyway, we're gonna make a leather worker and then let's make it out of let's do it out of micro line okay so i know that we don't have a lot of leather but since we are whoops since we are making a um our new section of our workshop here let's make a stockpile one of my favorite things to do and this is just going to be leather Uh, da, 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 leather all there we go I don't think we have a spot for leather but let me check yeah I didn't think we did so if we have any leather they'll move it down there but what I am going to do I'm actually good let me check something real quick I'm curious about cave wheat pigtail sweet pods one two three four yeah. I feel like I'm missing something. Plump? Hold on, hold on. So we have plump, cave wheat, dimple cups, pigtails, quarry bushes, that's five. Three pods is six. I'm taking crazy pills. Interesting. Anyway, don't mind that. Just uh, ramblings of a crazy dwarf person. Okay. I don't even know if I have leather. I don't think I do. Okay. 
Anyway, so let's do this. We gotta kill somebody. Um, well, butcher them, rather. So we have two males here. Might as well butcher one of them. And that way we can get some leather and I can make some bags. But we will, oops, let's play that. Let's go to our farm here, see what happens. Once we get more dwarves, I'm gonna start hunting and stuff like that. That way we're getting bones, leather, tallow, all that good stuff. Still making food, which is great. Okay, slaughtered. Okay, so they're putting all the the bits. Oh, uh, so that actually reminds me. So if we go into labor, kitchen, meat and fish, doesn't look like they've rendered the fat yet. Not that I see anyway. Let's see. Farmer. Is it the butcher that makes? Interesting. Ah, there it is, the kitchen. They're gonna render the fat once they can, but they can't. Why is it saying, hmm? Sometimes when they're moving stuff around, Unless fat isn't on here and they gotta make it into tallow to make something with it. Here, let's give it a little bit. Let's get this person done with their uh, peach meal, peach stew. Yeah, yak fat, there it is, okay. So as soon as that's made, I'm going to convert that so they don't make that into food. This is the part that I said it was kind of uh, micromanaging. There should be an automatic way of telling them not to do anything with uh, tallow, which there might be. I'm just not familiar enough, but it should be a little bit easier than how they make it right now. All right, so there we go. Like, you know, be able to way to like filter here, something like that. I mean, look how many different items there are just from the yak themselves, so. Okay, there we go. So we got that. Let's go down to our craft thing, see if we've got any leather which I don't think we do. Did I, do I even have a leather worker? I do, I have a tanner. Maybe the yak didn't give me any hide? That'd be weird. Interesting. Oh, it's right here. It's where this rock is. Huh. I didn't know that there was a bin there. Um, anyway, so we got two yak leather. So let's make... Uh, we'll make some leather bags. We'll make two. Make some yak bags. So what we'll do then is I will have... Let's see. If this is glass. Glass leather worker. Oh. Interesting. Leatherworks. Huh. I'm confused. Oh, I think I made that when I was doing the instrument thing. Okay. Well, let's demolish this place. I don't need that. Definitely don't need that. So what do they got? They have walnuts here and prickleberry. Interesting. I mean, they can make that into food? Let's see. Prickleberry, yeah. Oh, it's actually set to not be made. Interesting. Well, we're not gonna be, um, we're not gonna be using any of these other type of seeds. So let's just do that. Finger millet, Malay? I don't know, parsnip, pig, oh, not pigtail. 
The reason that you don't cook seeds is because you can't get more seeds that way. But for the things that are up uh, on the surface, I'm not going to be doing that in this fortress, so we don't need to worry about it. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, so that's gone. We have that. I don't know what they're going to do with that. I almost want a stockpile of just seeds. Actually, haven't I? Well, is that going to mess things up? Hmm. I'll, I'll have to mess with that later. Anyway, let's get back on track here. That was just kind of confusing me. So we have some leather bags. So let's have a spot for the leather bags. And we'll just do it. I'm thinking what I want to do. Yeah, this is fine. We'll just make a little 4x4. Four four. And we'll just call them bags. We'll have all sorts of bags here. So I think it's a finished good. Maybe not. Is it a furniture? Okay. Uh, the reason why it's under furniture, I believe in the uh, free version, the original version, you can actually place down bags kind of like you do with chess. I don't think you can do that in this version, but I'll, I can check. Uh, but we're going to do bags. Uh, we're going to do... I mean, it doesn't really matter what they're made out of, but... And of course this. Okay, so what we're going to check, though... I'm going to check my other furniture stockpiles and make sure. So we'll say no bags there. Same thing with this one. Not that we can have any clay bags, but, you know. Cool. And they already have a yak leather bag. Great. Okay. So since we have that, let's do our kiln. Now we could make this a little bit easier. If I wanted to make, um, I could have like a bag stockpile somewhere around here, but it's not too long of a distance for them to walk over there. And we won't be needing it that much anyway. We'll make plaster powder. And it's that easy. Uh, as long as you have a leather bag and one of the rocks, which I already stored right here, they should make it and then store it in the hospital. And it looks like someone's already on the case, maybe? I'm not sure if they're like hauling something. Oh, they're hauling the gypsum. They must have grabbed some from somewhere else before they starting to come over here. Ah, they need coke as well, okay. The kangaroo doe is fighting, interesting. Hopefully no one that we, we care about. Now, one of the weird things about gypsum, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong if you know, but from my understanding, there's not really a place to store it. Uh, you can, of course, store it in a hospital, since it's asking for it, and they'll deliver it there, so you can kind of do some things there. Uh, but otherwise, in a stockpile, let's take a look here. Um, I want to say... Let's see. If you do this, stone clay... Um, is it even under here? Plaster? So we have gypsum plaster, which that might be what it's called. Um, but if you try to, so like the type is stored here, gypsum plaster, but the things that are made here in the furniture, uh, let's see, make sure. See, it, it doesn't list that as a type that can be here. So. It's listed under stone and clay, but for the type of item it is, it's not here. Uh, the other thing is furniture siege ammo. Uh, if you type in bags, it might be like bags. Um, bags. Uh, what am I trying to say? So they have bags here under furniture and siege. Like I was saying, you can place bags, but they, they suspect that those are empty. They want them to be empty bags. So if you click stone and clay... I don't know if they will stockpile it. Something to test out. Again, you probably won't be making an excess of gypsum plaster to begin with. 
So it's not really a big deal, but the wiki is a little bit... Uh, uh, I'm not sure what it's trying to say there, other than that it looks like you can try to stockpile it, but they really don't. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, please do, but that's just how they do things. So let's go to our zone, see how it's going. Powder for cast. So we got one right there. So great. So the last two things that I don't have, which aren't obvious enough, is splints and crutches. This is easily made in the furniture. Or not furniture, finished goods, the craft door ship, I think. Actually, is it carpenter? Yes, it is the carpenter. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, so we have a splint there. No, wooden splint. And the crutch. There we go. So that one's real easy to make. As long as you have uh, wood and a carpenter, you're good to go. So that's how you do the hospital uh, from start to finish. Um, trying to think if there's anything else left to touch on. We did make this. Okay, perfect. Yep, there he goes. Storing something in there. Ah, the splints and stuff. Cool. All right. Now I see something going on. If you guys ever see something inside your... Uh, what is this? Floodgate? Like this object here? If you try to close it, it will just uh, be blocked. This cannot be closed. So what I would have to do is close it. Uh, the one up here... If I go to the surface, the one up here will close. I don't think there's any items in the way. No, this will close uh, and we would have to wait for that to dry out before we're allowed to grab those items for the floodgate to work, which isn't a problem. I don't see myself using it, but just for your guys' knowledge, looks like they're leaving. Great. All right. Well, I think we're going to leave the episode here. Um, I just wanted to show the... Uh, last bit on how to complete the hospital since I didn't get to in the other one. Uh, and I knew it was going to take a little bit to explain what was going on. Uh, what was I looking for? Oh, I was going to go down here. I wanted to see what our food's looking like. Okay, so they have plenty of food, plenty of drink. This is going great. Okay, all right, guys, so we're going to leave it here. If you guys uh, have any suggestions, any comments, any tips, anything I might have missed, any corrections, please let me know. I'm always up for um, learning about that. You know, I don't think I'm 100% right, so please let me know. Uh, but Or if there's anything else you'd like to see. But let's leave it there. So as always, this is Nathan. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. I will see you.